All right, today we are going to give you a special treat, a walkthrough of the Vexus AVX 1980. <laughs> uh, and so I want to give you a walkthrough. It's kind of a new series on the channel where we're going to walk through a bunch of different boats, not just 80, 90, $100,000, 21-foot elite series bass boat walkthroughs, but I want to give you some walkthroughs of like everyday tournament anglers' boats. They're still going to be nice boats. They're still going to be well decked out but you're gonna see how they're decked out by a tournament angler that fishes tournaments, you know, and uh, not every boat needs to be fully maxed out with every single thing, 21 foot with 300 horsepower motors and things like that. So stay tuned. We're gonna walk through this boat and give you every detail and look how Johnson's got it set it up. Because uh, believe it or not, this guy catches them from time to time. And uh, we're gonna show you how he's got it set up and why he's got it set up to give you ideas on how you might wanna set your boat up or if this is a boat you're looking at, then you can see what it's all about. All right, so Johnston has had his Vexus. Couple seasons. Couple seasons. 1980. Yeah. Everywhere from all over Minnesota to the river, down to Gunnersville, and a whole lot more. So you've had it on some pretty big water, some small waters. I guess before we get through this, like, what do you like about the boat? So what I really love about the boat is storage compared to every other aluminum out there. Now, don't give yourself too much anxiety on how much is in these compartments. But yes, if you if you have OCD and organization issues, don't look in here. Don't watch the rest of this video. But if not, let's dig into the storage here. Giant storage. So we got two back compartments. Storage. This would be uh, potentially a team partner or co-angler, but it's full of Johnson stuff. Hey, it's before season. Before season. Um, not just storage for your gear, but I run a 36 volt trolling motor because you just are never going to be mad you have too much power so we've so got as you can see three trolling motor batteries a blue top for the main motor and you're running 31 agms yep and then you've got a, a dc mincota charger yep four bank all fits cozy in there <clears throat> live wells is there room for pumps in there if you want to put talons or yep. power poles yep there's room for pumps on the back wall there and honestly you could slide the batteries over as well if you wanted to um you and you can breaker switch Yep, and then you have a few switch under here and another one over on the wall over here and then a dead man switch as well. Flywells, they're pretty standard. Divided. Yep. Divided. And you can put 20, 25 pounds of bass in here, no problem? No, 23 anyway. All 23. right. So we'll take a peek in the uh, matching compartment behind the, uh, the driver's seat. Also, so you just you have clearly have a good system where you just put any tackle in every compartment. Or is, there, is, there, is there a rhyme to the reason to this? Um, there will be eventually, just not at the moment. <laughs> it started off with rhyme to the reason, and then it got worse. So what's power in this this uh, rocket ship? Okay, 150 four stroke Mercury. It's very very quiet. Let's start it up real quick for you guys. <laughs> Unlike the rest of the Mercury four strokes, this one is. They're quiet siblings. So you go for stealth. Yep. What do we got here between the seats? Yeah. They make the glove box edition, which is also, they make a seat too. But again, if you guys have OCD, don't look in here. It's just going to make this you. It's like, the, you know, the drunk drawer in the kitchen with the scissors and the paper clips and everything? That, that's Johnson's junk that, drawer. That, no, that's my boat. <laughs> well, his boat junk drawer. And, and this is a another step compartment. <clears throat> but, uh, we'll, call, we'll call that the day box. That's the day box. Yeah, we'll go with that. Of, tons of storage. You can also use this as a rod locker, but if you're me, you just... So there's a bunch of dividers. He just got his navigation light up here. There's a bunch of places, but he's going for a bunch of 3700s, some Tupperware, some milk crates, and whatever else he can fit in here. Right. All right. carpeted. Yep. Carpeted. This is the cooler, uh, you know, for... It's for a pretty big cooler. Folks, so we don't need to talk about it much. There might be empty cans there's in here. Last year's beverages and refreshments. And then up here, we'll have spots for your life jackets. You can fit a lot of life this jackets. Is probably the least cluttered compartment we've looked at. You're correct. <clears throat> Keep some of that weight out of the bow. That's right. That's right. And then in here, got a couple dozen rods. This is where the tools and the drip feeds. So plenty of rods. I mean, we got at least I don't know, close to 20 rods. All right. Sleeved up in there, plus some some drip baits and a few random things. There is literally. A bladed jig in every compartment, including the cooler in this boat. So you got front. straps. So pretty roomy front deck. Team partners easily can fish up yep. here. And what is the measurements on this boat? 
uh, it is 19 feet 10 inches long. So, and like you can see, he's up here with me, and there's still plenty of room. And especially if you're standing on the trolling motor, we're, we're, we're a ways apart. And the back deck is really spacious if you have a go back there as well. And so, what are you rigging? So, up front here, again, 36 volt all tracks. 42 inch shaft. 45, 45 inch, inch shaft. shaft. Mega 360. The Mega Live will go in here. I do caution people if you put a Mega Live on your trolling motor, make sure these two aren't opposing and hitting. And then to run it, last year we had a 7 up here for mapping, and then the 10 for the 360. This year we're going to have a 9 and a 10. This is Mega Live, Mega 360. It does have a Mega DI transducer on it. Let's not sleep on this directional GPS antenna. That's a big deal if you're an offshore fisherman like Johnston. And then, then there's <laughs> actually, and then the Ultrex one is underneath here. You don't need to install it, it's overrated. Right. <clears throat> what? And that's got a tool holder and a cup holder or a, a or another random, holder. No, a jackhammer holder. Yep. Up there. Got some tilt and trim switches under the graphs. You can flush mount a graph if you want. Up to a seven inch up front. Up to a seven inch up front. So we'll be skipped over what we're running for electronics at the dash here. Just, just a standard mega SI unit nine. Plenty so of dust. Nine flush mounted. So that's about so you can put a 9 or a 10? Yep, 9 or a 10. Yep, or smaller. Yep. No hot foot for Johnston. I, I like to drive with my hand. Just, there you go. That's just how... Personal preference. Yep. But they're, they're, most of these boats will come with a hot foot. And then the oldest jack plate known to man back there. So we got a, a recently installed hydraulic jack plate. And it is ancient. And what kind of speeds do you get out of this boat? Low to mid 50s. Low to mid 50s, tournament ready. Yep. Gets you where you want to go. Probably pretty easy on gas. Yep. Toe's super easy. To toe's great. You can, I mean, honestly, you could run a single axle trailer if you'd like to. Um, and I've had no issues with that. And a dual axle trailer, you want two extra tires, a couple extra bucks, but it'll tow a little straighter. But you can push a single axle in your garage just the same. Right. Pretty comfy seats. You've got uh, cleats, you know, flush mounts. They're not hanging on things. I don't know. You got storage rod straps up front for the co angler, plenty of space. If, uh, if you have those a back compartment, there'd be plenty of space right. for a co-angler, but that's right. So cool. Well, thanks for the tour, Johnson. You ready to get after him and go fishing this year when uh, the, when the spring finally lets go? You mean later this week when spring finally gets here. All spring right. Gets. Well, if you enjoyed this boat walkthrough video, make sure you check out the playlist right here on the screen to see a bunch more boat walkthrough videos.